tarehe 26 mwezi wa 4 mwaka 2015 ah kikundi kipya kilichukua usukani kwe, kwe, kuendeleza vija mahakamani na tukawa na jaji wa kwanza alafu baadaye yule akatuacha Jamal akaja Jamal nilimjua after my internship uh, nilipata kazi in a certain production na alikuwa actor mzuri sana na vile uh, the first judge wa vioja mahakamani alikuwa anataka kwenda in a trip somewhere alikuwa anataka Jackie alikuwa akitafuta mtu waku wakushikilia hiyo wakati nikamwambia kuna hapa kijana fulani tunafanya naye kazi uh, tafadhali unaweza kumwangalia ni kama anaweza kuebo ku fit hiyo profile at that particular moment alikuja akatestiwa na watu walipenda kazi yake kuna siku moja tumekuja hapa na watu wa kwetu wa familia na nikikumbuka ile alikuwa very authoritative like lakini ni kwa play siku moja nimekuja na sister yangu hapa akakuwa anatuangalia venye tunafanya and i was here nilikuwa nimeweka mikono kwa mfuko then aka shout we toa mikono kwa mfuko or ni ku post mbali so ikakuwa ni kama inaka ameniingia sana lakini hapana nikakuwa nikielezea ule sister yangu hii ni mchezo na kwa mchezo lazima kukuwe na extend nyingine ya kuwa serious kidogo na wakati mwingine kuna joke but wali enjoy wakimuona anacheka actually hata mimi mwenyewe na familia yangu wao familia wanamkumbuka even more than me kwa sababu wananiuliza aki huyo mtu mtakuja mpate mtu mwingine kama huyo uh, i knew jamali in 2013 <coughs> by that time uh, we were in one production called lj production and uh, when i knew jamal he was a good guy He was a loving guy and uh, he was so comic. So as they say that sometimes mountain don't meet by woman being meet. I finally met him here on Vioja Makamani and I happened to see him as a, a good mentor. Had you uh, envisioned the circumnavigation inside? Jamal nilipata kumjua wakati tuli join vio jamaa mahakamani although nilikuwa na watch the other programs and yalikuwa na act he is that natural kila kitu akifanya ilikuwa si hakuwa na ilalazimisha acting yake ilikuwa inakuja tu naturally Jamal alikuwa wale watu wanapenda chenye wanafanya na wa kama kuna kitu nilikuwa napenda about Jamal he was a committed man. Ikifika ni mambo ya vioja mahakamani, be it it's call time. Jamal used to be the first person. Wakisikia uchungu sana sana wakina Ron wenye alikuwa nakujanga hapa let. So alikuwa na job keep time na keep hiyo time ni vizuri kwa sababu yeye alikuwa in the most same better leadership position. When somebody akwa pale na anafanya kitu in the right way then inakuwa easy for watu wenye chini kupata uh, mwelekeo mzuri na pia nakusaidia wewe uh, while you are doing your own job to make it equal poor alikuwa anakuja kantini ya KBC anaanza kunywa chai 6 am na shoot iko 11 ama 10 alafu anapiga ma selfie hata kuna mtu kananga tu kwa group eh hey, kwa nini una place unaweza lala nini 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 tunamfanya tu mchezo mingi sana so hata kuna wakati kuna mwambie hey, eh kama huyu mlala KBC nini so ni mtu alikuwa anajua keep time kama unavyoona leo hii kiti chake hakina mtu yani hamna mtu pale ni uzuni kwetu kama wanavioja mahakamani uh, kumkosa Jamal siku ya leo mali kama hapa na kila mtazamaji alikuwa anampenda sana maana yake alikuwa pale pia alikuwa na utani mwingi Swahili mwingi na alikuwa anafurahia maana yake tumtoka area moja kule Mombasa amesema at your age nzito <laughs> alikuwa na mtani so many jokes Um, I met Jamal for the first time after four years. I met Jamal for one. Akiwa hakimu ananiambia be yourself. Mimi nitakupea fursa uendelee kutekesha watu. And Jamal gave life to any room you walked in. Anaingia tu and the room just brightened up. You know Jamal used to laugh. You know any joke that hit him, he could laugh, he could laugh. Don't talk vitu ambavyo vina maana hapa. 
na mheshimi mbeguma ama hata una simnyamani hizo ni sana masimu tu sahi kwa nini ni sawa ni nani so at times i could pull the man if i wanted to be do a, to do a joke that i knew the man would laugh i would just pull him aside and tell him the man nataka tu jengane kwa hiyo sawa utanipatia tu nafasi niseme hii joke na mchapia joke anacheka huko backstage akisha cheka kikuja hapa we could have a flawless show ah eleze maka mbona unachofahamu kuhusu na kesi hii ambayo iko mbele yetu hey hiyo siku my baby alikuja home mhm alikuwa amevalia gunia ndio hapo siku nilijua wanale waenga walisema ukiona vyaelewa yaani vyaelewa jua ni top layer ile na hiyo si Kiswahili hiyo waenga ndio walisema hiyo si walisema sugu gani siku nyingine tulikuwa nao akaniambia unawajua waenga si ni wale wale wanakuwa amekaa pale pale junction oh sa sa ndelea ndelea tukao tuna, tuna ucheshi wakati mwingine pia tukao ingawa si wawili kama kama kiongozi wa mashtaka na yeye kama hakimu ilikuwa si kila wakati si ndio ambao tunayasema wale wana, ambao wana wanalekeza kile kinafanyika hapa lazima tukue serious lakini pia si hapo katikati tukao tunapata wakati wa wa ku uh, ku enjoy elele maka majina yako mimi machira kamera mheshimiwa mimi mnachulikana kama suleka kwa pishar ama unaweza nita mf unafanya kazi gani mf mf ni nini mama fua mama fua <laughs> na unafanya kazi gani amekwambia mheshimi kiongozi wa mashtaka banki si bajia wewe siongeza kachumbari mheshimi amekuelezea kwamba anafanya kazi ya mf yani mama fua mheshimi jua alipokuwa akijitambua anasema kuwa jina lake ni binti bishar mf amesema jina lake ni binti bishar ama unaweza kumuita mf wewe kawa hiyo ndio kazi anafanya nyumbani pale wanamjua sasa tunashindana na wewe ah sio mheshimi eh hapana mheshimi most of the time nimekuwa out on my research na nimekuwa nikiandika script nikiletea vioja mahakamani so nakumbuka first time i met jamal Uki, kwa katika lo, lo ile ambayo nilikuwa nikiandika ama ruling nilikuwa nikiandika na english most of the time so ilifika mahali akaniita na tuandikia kizungu afiki sisi ni wazungu nikamwambia unataka kusaidiaje akasema hizi ruling ambazo unaandika na English unafikiri hapa kuna wazungu andika kitu na Kiswahili nikajaribu kumwambia unajua law za Kenya sheria za Kenya hazina hazijakuwa translated in Kiswahili so so katika ile tukabishana na yeye kafika mali akasema ukiandika in English wewe unaniita tuna tuna translate so, so nilikuwa nikiandika ninamtumia anasoma anakuja mwenyewe ana translate in Kiswahili kulingana na sheria ile washtaki ambayo iko kwenye penal code cap 63 sheria um, ya Kenya sura ya tisa amani ukiwa katika umma katika mstari wa 94 kwenye kipengele cha kwanza washtakiwa inataka mufahamu vizuri sana hatuwashtaki ama muhukumiwi kulingana na contract ambayo mlikuwa mmesainiana na bwana Okala ambayo iko hapa mbele yangu wakati anapata na ruling ilikuwa anatoa maoida fulani kwa ruling unashangaa huyo mtu hiyo ruling hatujamwandikia lakini ataiweka kwa njia ambayo inaeleweka zaidi. Kwa hivyo Jambal ni mtu tumpoteza mtu wa maana zaidi. Lakini ilikuwa tu iko lazima. Ah uh, hiyo ndio siku yake. Sisi pia zote tuko kwa hiyo njia. Na tunaomba tu Mungu aiweke roho yake mahali pema. Mshtakiwa pili majina yako kamili? Hey, zidi anzia wapi? Mr. 254. Hey, Mr. Rillionaire. Hey, oh, unafikiria tuko hapa kuimbiwa sisi? Majina yako kamili kama inavyosema kwenye kitambulisho chako cha Kenya King Kaka. Na Jamal tulijua ni ni kitampo sana alikuwa tuko nafanya kipindi fulani hivi kwenye kwa Kelele FM. Ndio tulikuwa mabeshi ni miaka mingi sana na tulikuja tukaingiana tukakuwa mabeshi. As in art tukiangalia pale saa hizi tunaona ayuko ni kitu inatuma sana. Eh for me personally alikuwa beste alikuwa kaa bro alikuwa msie kona utani mingi mnakosana mnapendana ni msuni ni kitu yenye nasema tu ni vioja family tushikane vio venye tuko na tupendane juu alituvundisha vitu mingi sana kukosana na kupendana na kuendelea na job unaweza kosa na saa hii akifika pale ni kazi haikukua kitu ngumu kudeal na yeye kwa sababu 
kila saa ukimwambia kitu ana adapt easily ukimkosoa anachukua lightly saa nyingine mnakosana alafu hakuwa na beba grudge kuna wakati yes tulikuwa tunakorofishana na yeye uh, uh, maybe nimechelewa kukuja kwenye set nimefanya kitu ambaye haikumpendeza angenileta juu sana Jamal lakini wakati ambapo tungekuwa tunafanya kipindi tukirecord Jamal angeni support na angeweza ku hold any kitu yoyote uh, kunihusu Jamal hakuwa mtu wa kuficha kitu ukimuudhi angesema hapo hapo Jamal alikuwa hapendi watu wakigombana angewatafuta aulize wewe umekosea huyu nini wewe umekosea huyu nini na tumekosa mtu kama huyo Tukwa tumefika voi mazo Tukenda sama jina yako Suu tuambie Okalipto Saa tuende from tops Chrome Chrome or from We knew ni kutoka tops But we needed to be To be directed That's why you are there Amekuwa ni mtu mwenye Anta kila mtu asonge mbele Nikiongele sana sana Na zungumuzi ya wale wenye walikuwa ni Kastu walikuna kuja wageni alikuwa ni ambaye round party yake kijana chance moja tum audition mtu atumjui lakini kwa sababu ya Jamal amesema tumpati audition tunamjaribu na kuna wenye walipata nafasi kupitia Jamal na pia kuna wale walikuwa na uoga but Jamal alikuwa anasema tumpati tu chance endelee tu kuongea mpaka ashikanishe mpaka tuna cut Jamal anampatia mawaidha ndio mtu pia anajaribu kuingia kwa character ah kusema kweli mepoteza ndume ni ndume kwa nini kwa sababu mara yangu ya kwanza kuingia fiocha mahakamani au pande ule mwingine nilikimbizwa sana nilikimbizwa juu ilikuwa mara ya kwanza ile wasiwasi oh niko kwa koti lakini kunikim, kunikimbiza hivyo yeye ndio alikuwa at least anani accommodate at least alikuwa anakufanya at least ukiwa pale unajiona kama uko na wengine weza koti majina yako kamili Ah kwa majina kamili bwana nganga MCA breakfast mapangalia hashtag kumbata Eh chini ya mfereji pia ukikuja unanitanga. Toa hiyo kitu kwa mdomo yako. Eh? Kwa nini uhusiana acha na kesi? Wewe nyamaza. Mara ya kwanza kukuja hapa vioja tukiwa tuna riasu huko chini, Jamal aliniambia, wewe acha uoga. Wacha uoga sisi tu wenye tuko hapa sisi wote tuko kitu kimoja ukiingia hapa tuko kitu kimoja na usiogope mtu yote. Fanya kazi yako na ufanye bidii, tia bidii kwa kila kitu unafanya. Kama ni kitu unapenda, fanya. Na nikasikiza maneno yake kabisa na nikaifuata. Maswali kwa shahidi? Ndio niko na swali. Uliza? Na wakati ulilikuta kwa hoteli, nilikuwa nimekuja na matatu ama nilikuwa na gari nyeti. Eh, hey, ulikuwa na gari msuri kabisa lakini ilikuwa ya kuhaya. Na ukapenda mtu ambaye anaendesha gari ya kuhaya? Si kujua, ni vile nilikuja nikagundua baadaye, hiyo gari ilikuwa ya kuhaya sababu hata nguo zako za ndani zilikuwa zimeraruka. Ulijua na nini nguo za ndani na siku ya kwanza? Si yenyewe uh, hapo nilia, niliona. Unajua mheshimiwa haa ni wale wasichana wanachukua nguo za mtu za ndani za mwanamume wanapeleka huko Rolio do mheshimiwa. Kwa hivyo unakubali nguo yako ilikuwa imeraruka? Anasema ukweli? Ilikuwa kashimo kamoja mheshimiwa. <laughs> Endelea uko na maswali zaidi? The first time that I met Jamal ilikuwa ni vioja mahakamani after I communicated with Aliwa kuita vioja mahakamani kuja. Alafu tukapata na Jamal akaniambia hapa everything itakuwa sorted under him na nisiogope na nikujange and then um i can be like uh, this thing it a happen only uki for uki 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 ani uki dedicate kwa hiki kitu so mimi maneno yake nilichukua uh, baada kuchukua niliamua ku practice alhamdulillah leo niko hapa lakini shida ni unajua kwa qur'ani nasemekana kullu nafsin daiqatul maut tunaambiwa kila nafsi lazima ionje mauti na na sisi wote tutapitia hiyo njia wale kama sisi ambao ni wa Kristo tunaamini kuwa Mungu ndiye anajua kesho yetu. I remember a week some four days before tarehe 12 mwezi wa Disemba 2017 na nane alipo tuacha uh, mwenda zake. Uh, tulikuwa tuko hapo tunamalizia ili tuweze kwenda Krismasi na nikawa nipatiwa ile jukumu kuomba nikasema wacha mimi nitaomba uh, kama Mkristo yaombe kama na, na, na kuwa Muislamu. Nakumbuka siku hiyo paka akiomba, aliomba sana. Akakumbuka paka 
waliokufa ni kama yani Mungu alikuwa amemuonyesha kuna safari anaenda lakini ni vile ni vile tu atuku wangi tumefunuliwa lakini ni kama Jamal alikuwa ameonyeshwa kifo yake wakati nililearn that Jamal ametuacha remember by that time nilikuwa na travel kuja nikaambiwa that actually i received a call from a blogger akaniambia ebu kindly confirm is it true that Jamal is dead nikasema siwezi report kitu sijui maybe i call the producer kajaribu ku call producer by that time phone yake na ilikuwa busy nikajaribu ku call some people nikaenda kwa wale ya Masai unajua Masai ndio tunasemanga na kuanga kama update wetu kwenda kwa update za Masai nikaona Masai ameandika but to me it was like a joke so on that time i called Aliwa ndiye akaniambia eh mzee wa ni ukweli Jamal hayuko nasi ili nipata kwa shock mimi mwenyewe hata mpaka wa sasa siamini um, but uh, tunashukuru Mungu kwa kila kitu kwa sababu Biblia inasema all things happens for good so ni njia yetu si wote tuwezi kuepa siku yako ikifika inshallah na ni vizuri tukishi dunia tukijua kesho ni ya Mungu leo ndio yako on the last material day that Jamal before Jamal died we, we were four of us myself uh, we were with the prosecutor Mr Liwa we were with uh, Jamal himself together with Okal little did we know that that was robbing us one of the greatest hero actually a mentor to the nation and to the young people that are coming up tukitoka recording ya bioja hapa kulikuwa na kitu ilikuwa na msumbuo kwa roho i wish nikijua nilikuwa namwangalia ananiangalia anashindwa sijui niambie huyu nini nini and then i can receive call flani and then when you call ali give a sigh of relief like at least things are better now but things did turn out out to be better the way he said it I never thought hiyo Thursday wakati kwa tumetoka the for last shooting yetu ilifanya na wewe it could have been the last minute tulikuwa tukwe na wewe na kumbuka zile photos tulipigwa na hiyo hiyo siku ndio ilikuwa anga the craziest siku ya photos selfies <laughs> Na Jamal in fact alikuwa tu anakuja tu wakati watu wanapiga fit hizi ndio wanachukua selfie he kind of want, wanted to be all over so akiona tu mtu amechukua tu simu he was there another group ikichukua simu he was there it's kind of hiyo siku he was all over jovial but hatuko tunajua that was the last time tulikuwa tuchukue simu hizi uh, photos na yeye kwetu sisi tulikuwa tunasema ni photos za end of the year lakini ke Mungu alikuwa anajua it was the last time kuchukua photos na wewe. Sasa hivi nikiangalia pale kuna upweke tunapofanya kipindi hiki kuna upweke kwa kuwa hayuko nasi. Hayuko nasi. Atamuona tena inamaanisha siku zijazo takubali kuwa Jamal hatawahi kuwa tena ameketi pale niko hapa kwa sababu ya mheshimiwa ambaye ni hakimu hayuko anaona uzuni sana kwa kumkosa kwa miaka zote ambao nimekuwa kwa hiki kipindi cha vioja mahakamani alipojiunga nasi alikuwa ananishauri na ninakumbuka vile nilivyo fundishwa mambo ya acting miaka zote ambayo nimekuwa katika hiki kipindi cha vio cha maka afande ndio habari chako nzuri sana pale vurumai kuna kundi ambayo inaitwa kula yote na hii kundi imeangaisa watu ni mavijana wameangaisa watu pale vurumai mmewasika tunaendelea na uchunguzi tutawashika tutawastaki 
umewafanya uchunguzi miaka mingapi uh, miaka miwili sasa miaka miwili ndio hii kesi yangu ilianza lini uh, wiki tatu zilizopita wiki tatu ndio so watu wanyang'anywe wa ulewe vurumai mfanye uchunguzi miaka tatu <laughs> mimi nipige picha na mpesi wangu mimi mi, mi, wiki tatu niko ndani unaona hiyo si ujinga hiyo ndiyo njia sisi wote tuko safarini jamala ametutangulia Ah inaweza kuwa maybe hayakuwa mapenzi ya Mungu lakini tufanyeje? Yote yametendeka tunaambia tu Mungu wacha wili yako ifanyike kwa sababu yeye ndiye anajua siku ya kila mmoja wetu. So kwa familia ya Jamal Mungu akaweze kuwapa nguvu na akaweze kuwa kulinda mioyo yenu kwa sababu kumpoteza mtoto, ndugu, rafiki si kitu ya si kitu hivi hivi kwa familia ya Jamal ningependa kuwaombea wakati huu wakati wakati huu mgumu mnapitia Mungu awajaze na nguvu sisi kama vioja mahakamani tumepoteza menta ni mtu mmoja ambaye alitaka kuona watu wakiwa kwa umoja sana alikuwa mtu mwenye ani anapenda kuleta watu pamoja is a uniter you only live once and true that one day that you have to live uh, live it to the fullest spread love spread joy because you don't know hakuwa mgonjwa ama nini ghafla alituacha it was hard to accept ama the fact that he's no more but yote ni mungu anajua so to have to deal with the fact that he's no more na hawezi rudi na may he rest in peace mtume muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ni kipenzi kipenzi cha mwenyezi mungu na yeye alipitia kifo lakini huwa we So mimi nasema Jamal kwa familia yake kwa mama kwa mama yake mzazi babake waifu wake mtoi wake na pia sisi kama wanavihoja mahakamani tunasema pole sana Jamal Allah anasema wataku yawma turja'una fihi ila Allah ugopeni ile ugopeni ni kwenye mtarudishwa mbele ya Mwenyezi Mungu na Allah hatukutanishe na yeye kwa njia nzuri siku ya kiyama Kwa kweli Jamal tunamiss na tutamiss na tutaendelea kumiss lakini hatuwezi mrudisha duniani maana chenye Mungu ameshapanga hakizi panguliwa hila tu tunaomba haki ikapate kutendeka kwa kifo chake maana ni kifo ambacho kikuwa kimetarajiwa na tuwezi sema ni kifo cha Mungu lakini yote tunamwachia Mwenyezi Mungu hii ni njia kila mtu anapitia i hope justice itapatikana i hope justice ita, itakuwa ebo ku kukuwa displayed because kila wakati si tukifanya vya jamaa kamani em yetu inakuanga one kwebo ku educate the public about court laws uh, the way cases zinaendeshwa na kadhalika but pia sisi huwa tunaomba sana ya kwamba mtu akuwa anaweza yani for justice to be done family yake mjue tuko na nyinyi kama vioja maybe atu, au mtuoni sisi mara kwa mara ama wengine wetu but kwa roho kwa moyo tuko na nyinyi Asante Na kwa wale wote ambao wanalea kutizama vijana makamani ningesema asanteni sana 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 kwa ile support ambayo mlitupatia na pia uh, tunapoelea uh, mbele uh, muendelee kutwatch hii kipindi kwa kuwa kipindi chenyewe kimekuwa kifunzo kwa watu wengi pale nje ni kipindi tofauti sana kwa kuwa kuna watu ambao wanatumia kule nje kuweza ku solve vitu maishani ningependa sana kuwashukuru runinga ya KBC ni mara ya kwanza nimeona msanii akisherekewa hivi karibu miezi miwili uh, runinga ya KBC katuacha tuweze kuonesha maisha yake kila alikuwa anafanya hapa na leo hii tunamalizia ningependa sana kushukuru KBC sana 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 hiyo kwangu kama msanii naona ni heshima kubwa sana ambayo tulikuwa tumetunukiwa kama wasanii